Hello everyone and welcome to the 2007 RuneScape quest guide for the Demon Slayer. Now this is a very easy quest and you do not require many stuff. All you require is an empty bucket, one coin and 25 bones. Once you are ready to start the quest, travel southwest of the Varrock Square and talk to Gypsy Aris. Pay Gypsy Aris the one coin and you'll be able to hear a story about a demon. Now keep on talking to Gypsy Aris until she gives you a cutscene. Now to inside of this cutscene, Wally is a warrior who locks up Delrif. Now Delrif is the demon, so he's going to lock, lock it up and he'll give you an incantation which you must use towards the end of the quest. In case you quickly skip the incantation, don't worry, you can get it all back again. If you want to get it back, just talk to Gypsy Aris and ask her about the incantation. Now, as far as I know, it is different for every single player, so you might want to write it down. If you want to get it back once again, talk to her, talk about the Demon Slayer, use option 1 asking for the mag magical incantation, and this is it right here. Write it down, print screen it, and put it inside paint, or do whatever you want, because there's a chance that it could be different for every single player. Now in case you got the same one as me or you got a different one, keep on following my guide. Travel north into the castle and in the southwest corner of the castle you'll be able to find Sir Prison. Use option 3 asking about the gypsy, option 1 talking about the silver light, option 1 talking about the crystal ball, option 1 asking him to give you the keys, and he's going to mention that he has given the keys to, to different people. So it's now your job to go and get these keys back. Now these keys are going to be used to open up the, the case for the silver light. So to start off, ask about Captain Robin. And if you travel northwest of the Varrock Castle and climb up the stairs, if you climb up twice, you'll be able to find Captain Robin. Ask about something that is very important. Then ask about um, about a demon invading the city, and say that someone is going to fight the demon, and say that it is you, and say that Sir Prison would give you the key. And he's going to give you his key, but he's going to mention that Sir Prison has lost his key. So he will give you his key towards the end of this chat scene. So now that you've got his key, travel downstairs until you reach the bottom floor. Travel east into the kitchen and use your bucket on the sink. If you use your bucket of water on the sink, you will get a bucket of water. Now straight outside you'll be able to find that there is a drain. If you search the drain you'll be able to see that there is a key there but you cannot reach it. So use your bucket of water on the drain and this will flush the key down into the sewers. So now travel outside of the castle and head east. If you head slightly east outside of the, the walls you'll be able to find an, an exclamation mark meaning that there is a uh, a manhole nearby. Click on the manhole and then climb down. And if you travel west and then north, and then slightly west again, around here is the key. Now do remember that it is it is not a red dot but right outside of this drain you'll be able to find an old rusty key. Now that you've got two of these keys you're going to have to get the final key. Travel out of these drains Now we are going to have to travel to the wizard's tower. So there are quite a few ways to get here. I'm going to be using the home teleport and traveling to Lambridge and then walking 
all the way west until I reach Draenor village and then travel south into the wizard's tower. You could either use your amulet of glory and travel to Draenor village and then head south into the wizard's tower. Now obviously that is the fastest way but you could use either way. One's going to be faster than the other of course but just use whichever one is easier for you. So now that you are at the wizard's tower, travel upstairs once and talk to Treyborn. Give him the 25 bones and he will do some kind of thing with it and he will give you his key. Do remember that there are wizards on the bottom floor which you can kill for the bones or in Draenor village there are a few more wizards which you can kill for the bones. Ask about the key. He's going to ask for 25 bones and say that you'll go and get them. As you have them already, just talk to him again and he'll give you the key. So now that you've got all three keys, you're ready to travel back to Varok. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to travel to Draenor Village, which is north there is a bank there and I'm going to take out some more food and my Varok teleports. In case you want to walk, if you keep on heading northeast all the way until you go past the, the river and keep on heading northeast until you hit Varok. Now there is a world map on top of your mini map which, which obviously does say world map. If you click on that it will open up another tab and you, you will have a world map of RuneScape. So I've got my teleport and some more foods in case it is needed. And once you are in Varok, head north into the castle and talk to Sir Prison. Give Sir Prison your three keys and he'll get the silver light for you. Now in case you do lose the silver light, if you pay Sir Prison 500 coins, he'll give it back to you. So don't worry if you lose it, you can get it back. So now that you have your, your silver light and your food and your armor, if you travel south outside of Varok until you hit the level 20 and 7 wizards, that is where you're going to be killing Delrith. Now do remember that you can only use the silver light to kill Delrith. So now just travel slightly east into the circle, into the center and a cutscene will happen. Delrith will be brought back to life and you'll just have to kill him with your silver light. Now there are level 20 wizards around so try and get into a safe spot like I am doing at the moment. If you wish you can kill them but you don't have to. Say the incantation that you had that the gypsy Aris gave you. So just use it all one at a time and if you get it correct he will be sent back to wherever he came from. After you send him back your quest will be complete. So thanks for watching this guide if you did enjoy it please subscribe like and comment the video and I will have more guides out later today. The next video is going to be about the winners of the giveaway so congratulations to them. 
Thanks all for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment the video. And I will see you all very soon.